Okay, so bed bound. Ah, <laughs> my gorilla tripod is not being so great. So if you were able to stand up and hip hinge and then put your hands down. But today I wanted to talk about kind of loosening. So I'm on a one of the big decorative pillows that's on the bed, on the angle, scooching back, feathering down. And being in this position, a little more flexed, which some of us are, it just gives me different access to, I'm gonna ground force off of all my points of contact to lengthen. So for me today, it was this leg, this leg, I, I didn't lengthen so far, one, two, three, but when I kind of did swirling, lengthening, tailbone lengthens, top of the head lengthens, foot comes up, I can, if I can, I can push in that foot to lengthen again to bring the other leg up. And I can start this loosening spinal rotation And this is great stuff to do after we get a treatment. And then when they were working on me last night, it was just like, wowie, there's a lot of tension in that right arm that I don't even really feel. So I'm kind of just reaching and moving and where does my chin want to be? Oftentimes, in our inefficient movement adaptations, and the body will adapt, will adapt for optimal and not so optimal. It'll say, okay, you're gonna sit in flexion and your neck's gonna be in extension. I'll do that for a while. And it's making all of these adjustments in the background that we don't know about. We are not conscious of the adjustments it's making in the background rolling bow and arrow and i'm push a little ground force bottom leg bottom shoulder up and over breathing and generally i start all my practices with the breath in some variation brushing breath swirling and in this position, since I'm bolstered on this, I'll turn so you can kind of see me. Here comes the light. <laughs> so I want to close the curtain, but I'm not going to just jump up. I'm going to roll, push off my elbow, push off my hand, connect to my cylinder of strength and wisdom. So as I'm in this, I can, then I can put my hands on my heart and breathe and up and over. Uh, I don't know what we call this. swirling so Aston paradigm all movement is made up of ascending and descending spirals swirling dynamic into the inner spaces And it's taken me a long time to build a consistent movement practice. And I always ask myself, why? Why don't I do my movement practice? And I think I've come upon the why is because it has me get into the places where I've stored my secrets, my wounds, 
And so as I'm building the capacity to return to equanimity and move through upset so I don't have to go to my favorite quail the upset food drinking and it gives me a way to process it and then I can the other thing is like journaling I've always kind of said oh I know that would be good and I don't do it why don't I do it so I'm really kind of asking the question why This is arms for working on the spine and the ribs. If my knees are bent up, it's one thing. If my legs are bent down, it's another. And this is all stuff that I learned from Aston Kinetics. Some of the more elbow, hand, rise, dynamic neuromuscular stabilization. But today with this pillow, it just gives me some different access into attention. And if I have an injury somewhere, I can make it smaller. Or as I get better, I, or as it starts to get better, I can listen in. This can be weight bearing. Gentle weight bearing. Lengthening, resting, give it a rest, breathing, everybody kind of has their own things around different aspects of breathing, breath of fire, breathe in, Breathe out, open your eyes, look around, see what's in your environment, really see it, say it to yourself, window, window handle, bedpost. Three or four rounds of that. Ten to fifteen times. Exhale, open your eyes, look around, see. And then I find myself doing a little head arcing. So head arcing is there's a dime on the back of your head. Gently, by raising your chin forward, up and back, slide the dime down towards your shoulders. It can be asymmetrical. Swirl. When you get to the top, relax your eyes, relax your mouth. And lengthen your head. Slide the dime back towards it. And then again, chin goes kind of forward, up and over. Rest at the top, relax your eyes, relax your jaw. And then just gently, kind of from right where your head meets your neck, C1, C2. Bring it back to where it feels like the weight of your body is maybe on your ears, but in this position, maybe a little bit more below your ears. Breath. Roll on my side, breathe on my side. You can breathe in to a count of four, breathe out to a count of four, hold for a count of four, breathe out to a count of four. Let's do that. Breathe in and out. Breathe in to a count of four, three, two, one. Gently hold. And push a little ground force in your bottom leg and your bottom shoulder. Feel what happens to your body as you're holding. Breathe out, release the ground force. And 
And I was just reminded I was breathing through my mouth there. I was just reminded that really where we start to build that more and the principles of breathing through our nose. But we can change it up, breathe through the nose, breathe out through the mouth, but breathing in and out the nose. As I get that, then my nervous system in that innate wisdom that it has, that it remembers this connection through the core, it comes online. It's like, boom, my tailbone lengthens, the top of my head lengthens. When I was breathing in my mouth, in and out my mouth, I didn't get that. And if you're not getting it, just imagine it. Tailbone lengthen, top of your head lengthen. And then without moving your head, take your eyes and look down at your sternum and feel what happens. Release. Look down at your sternum and feel what happens. Release. Now my nervous system kind of wants to go to a rest. So rest here for as long as you'd like. When you're ready to get up, think about how you're going to do it. Connecting through the conscious wisdom of reintegrating the nervous system. Less pain, more freedom. Right now, just a relaxed pleasure.